Absolutely. So I was talking to, to um, uh, Leo, and Leo was still my neighbor when my mom acquired the uh, the eighty four three eighty SE, which I'm so in love with now. Um, and uh, I remember when she first got it, Leo had never really said anything about it. And he always seemed kind of angry seeing it. And um, I was talking to him about it one time a couple years ago, and uh, it. Uh, he goes, oh, that car is a piece of crap. That was the Beverly Hills Volkswagen. That's what we called it internally. Um, of course, because of the 155 horsepower uh, emissions choked uh, M116 3.8 liter, which is actually, I think, is a great engine. It's a fine engine. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that damn yeah. engine. I, I, I am, tr of course, I've uh, expressed this to you. I want to do a Euro rebuild on it so I can get whatever the... 205. Two, yeah, 205 HP, which is, I think it's fine. I mean, the 155 is fine for the 126. It's not a crazy heavy car. Well, I mean, the 300 SD was fine. It had 120 horsepower, you know? Right. It's funny how close they are in horsepower, too, um, and the economy difference. Both of them still bested... Pretty much whatever Ford or Lincoln had to offer. I mean, Lincoln was, you know, at the time, if you bought a, uh, can't remember, a 4.1 liter V8 in your Crown Victoria, you had 115 horsepower. <laughs> you know, this, was, this is the 80s. I think a lot of people forgot just how dark the 80s were when it came to, and 70s were, were when it came to cars making horsepower. And that's what I want to get into with Leo. Yeah. I want to put something together because he was there in the thick of it. Well, what do you? So, what advice do you have for somebody who's young, getting into Mercedes, and doesn't really know what direction to go, but they know that they like the cars? Like you started from zero. What advice do you give to somebody who's starting from zero and has nothing but passion? Um, if you're in love with the car already, um. Learn the systems, learn how your car works, um, because trust me, once you learn how a system like K-Jetronic works, or um, even something as simple as like your electronic door locks, once you learn how that system works, you'll appreciate the design so much more, and as you learn the system, more, more of the different systems in your car, um, the the love kind of expands beyond just you looking at the car and saying, oh, that's a beautiful car. You look at the car and then you see the inside of the car and you see, oh, this is how the automatic climate control works. This is how the fuel injection works. And when you're driving it and using those features, you, you feel more connected to the car, especially if you've repaired those systems. Yeah, I agree with you yeah. 100%. Well, I really appreciated you coming down here and spending a few days with me. It's been a ball. <laughs> Yeah, it's like going to English class or something, right? No. Um, I, would, um, I would tell you, Jack, on camera that I'm proud of everything you've done. But I think I have a better compliment. Mm -hmm. I think that you are an honor to the hobby. Thank you, Pierre. So, Same goes to you. Yeah, well, you know. You already know that. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm doing this for money. It's, it's a different kind of ball game but I think that um, you know for younger people that are interested in these cars you have to start figuring out how things work or else you will never be able to maximize your enjoyment of the car and um, in Jack's case you know Jack's learned a lot in five years you can learn a lot in five years too when you're young your ability to learn things is at its peak don't waste it and don't buy a uh, late 2010s uh, WRX for, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 or something when you can go out and buy a 300E or something of the like and put, like, a small fraction of the money into that in parts of genu in genuine Mercedes parts and have a car that's going to last you literally the rest of your life. You know what I mean? I'll come and talk to you about that. 380 SE when you're 85, <laughs> but 
I'll probably be dead by then. No. Um, <laughs> I hope I live to be 90. That would be great. Um, that Lebanese diet. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyway, if, guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And if you're a younger person and you're getting into these cars, we can't wait until you prove all the boomers wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and keep the hobby alive. And uh, enjoy wrenching on your own classic Mercedes. And don't forget about the Karens. Yeah. Oh, the Karens. God. <laughs> Better run. We're about to get assailed by the Mega Karen. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. That was good. I felt good about the, uh, the rhythm. It's like a really special piece that's in there. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't say anything, but uh, it looks really exciting. And uh, it's a 600 long wheelbase. What can't be exciting about that?